Good morning and a very warm welcome to you all this morning. It's lovely to be together again as we draw inexorably closer to Christmas. It seems extraordinary that it's only a few weeks away now. Anyway, I do hope you enjoy this service. We meet together in the name of the Father and of the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together this morning. Lord, we pray for healing. We give you great thanks, Lord, for the development of these vaccines. Lord, we pray for peace. Lord, we pray for a sovereign move of your Holy Spirit that would touch all of our hearts and lead us closer to you in love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. First reading is taken from the second letter of Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and one thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. For the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Since all these things are to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire? So in accordance with his promise, we wait for a new heavens and a new earth, where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. So also our beloved brother Paul wrote to you, according to the wisdom given to him. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ.